Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Tom Castle. I am one man with one chair, one life to live. Tonight, um, I'd just like to say hello to all the few people who uh, so far have watched my video. I've got I think, two or three views so far. Not a lot, but you know what? Shoot for the moon, right? Um, tonight, I uh, really wanna, uh, I wanna, I wanna take a second and just talk about some of this. Been watching a lot of YouTube videos on this and a lot of a lot of news articles, and I kind of just want to weigh in. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard uh, about how Suicide Squad has gotten negative reviews. To the point where uh, there's actually a petition going around to take Rotten Tomatoes offline. Now, obviously, that's a ridiculous thing. I mean, that would be like trying to take Google down for for negative reviews that people have have written. I mean, it, it's you know, Rotten Tomatoes takes all of these these reviews and compiles a number on it. So, I mean, to take it down, it's, it's kind of silly. But to play devil's advocate, I really feel like Rotten Tomatoes shouldn't put reviews out for a movie that hasn't come out yet. People haven't had the chance to review the movie, to watch the movie. Now, what if what if someone is is looking for for uh, you know like a like an official critic who's been invited to see the movie early? They want to hear their reviews. Rotten Tomato is supposed to be about everybody's reviews coming together, so you get a basic score. You know, but a movie that hasn't even come out yet has a score. That doesn't seem right. I haven't seen it. I haven't give. I haven't been able to give a review. I would love to go and see that movie in the theaters. Unfortunately, I can't neither spare the time nor the, the money to do so. Um, simply because it just... I don't I, I have too much going on right now. Um, but I would love to go and see that movie. You know, and and, and I, I feel kind of the same way about, uh, about its uh, sort of predecessor, Batman. You know, Batman vs. Superman. I personally loved that movie. I thought that movie was awesome. Now, you know, some of you who say, you know, oh, well, you know, it, was, it wasn't as good of a movie as we wanted. You know, the, the acting wasn't the greatest. You know, and I thought that movie was awesome. And then the, the extended review came out, or the extended edition came out. That... I mean, even just those few scenes just really, really give those 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 little loop those little loopholes and, and and stuff more plausibility, more more you know substance. So I guess in short, I I don't really know if Rotten Tomatoes should put out video, put out reviews before the movies because that'll damage a movie. Just having those those negative reviews make people not want to go and see those movies. I say make them make them not put movies online and or reviews online until after opening weekend. And then after opening weekend, okay, you know what? Take take that movie. Give it a score. Say, you know, this movie is awful or this movie is good. But until it's open to the public, why you know uh, in, in any case, you know that just that just bothered me. I, I just wanted to I wanted to rant and rave about that for for a minute because I, I just me personally, I, I I have worked at a movie theater and you know seeing how public opinion can affect a movie, it it's crazy. Like people will read one review. One review. And that's it. They won't go and see the movie. I'm guilty. I, I've I've done it. I've done it. You know, it's been a while, but I have done it. I didn't go out and see Ghostbusters because I heard it was awful. 
completely awful. It was completely awful. But then, I went and, and watched it. I thought it was freaking amazing. As, as a Ghostbuster fan, you know, I, I have to say, it was not the, the original Ghostbusters that I grew up on. But when I went in to see that movie, I went in to see it knowing full well that it was not the original Ghostbusters. You know, it, it you know, it's meant for new audience. Now, obviously, you know, they, they, they took the time to pander to to us older generation who grew up on, on Ghostbusters. You know, obviously, they, they did everything they could to get, you know, all of the original cast in for cameos. And to be honest, that, that to me, I thought was, was absolutely amazing. But, you know, you know, we're, we're all guilty of it, you know. But, I mean, one, one, one bad review can completely derail a movie. I mean, completely derail a movie. And it just, I, personally, I think that, you know, they should make these people wait to give their reviews until opening weekend. Except for, you know, big magazines and stuff, you know, to build hype. But, I mean, you know, places like this that, you know, take from every which way, I say, make them wait. Now, oh, goodness. Now, I, I, this, is, this is my second video. Finding it a little bit easier to, to sit here and, and talk to you guys. Yeah, I, I have my toothbrush. Uh, I like to have something to to twiddle in my hands. I get that that uh, e -d 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 thing going on. Um, but uh, but I think uh, probably the next. Uh, yeah, I'm looking over here because you know this is where my my screen is. You know, I know you guys are here. You know, it's something that. I personally need to work on. Um, you know, um, thinking in the next probably week or two, uh, I'm gonna be working on um, getting getting my let's plays up and running. Um, I, I actually did try today, but uh, it just wasn't working. So, um, you know, I, I tried really, really hard. My computer shut down like five times, and I said, you know what? I don't have the time and the energy to do this right now. You know, I, I got so much going on, so it's coming. Um, like I said, though, I don't want to give, I don't want to, I, I don't want to put myself out there as, you know, as less than what I want to give. And right now, I'm just, I'm not able to give that 100%. Um, let's see. Um, communication. Um. For me, talking is, 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 is really hard. Um, I, I tend not to talk to people. Uh, like, I, like I stated previously, uh, I'm a big introvert. This chair, this this is like my, my corner, my, my sanctum. Um, so going out, talking to people, it's, it's hard for me sometimes. And, and it's not, you know, it's not the easiest thing for me to even just talk to a camera. Um, you know, that being said, you know, I, I have talking experience. You know, I was, I worked at Disney World um, for about a year. So, you know, talking in front of, you know, five, six, seven hundred people at a time, that's, that's nothing, you know. But sitting here with my own, my own thoughts, that can sometimes be hard for me to just talk. So... Uh, I just, from, from the bottom of my heart, I just, I want to thank you guys for, for just listening. I mean, even if you only watch the first few minutes of this, you know, that's, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, thank you for, for watching. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to end there. Uh, so, without further ado... This is Punk signing off. Now I'll see you in the verse. I am one guy with one chair. 
and one life to live.